let's play guess what time I'm recording at. By the way, I'm in my new, well, not new, it's my usual office, but I haven't been filming in here yet, so, um, I'll give you five seconds to guess. Five, four, three, two, one. It is 8.34 in the morning, and I just woke up like 30 minutes ago, maybe less, like five minutes ago, so, <clears throat> Today we're going to be, since, you know, I can't get out, I just thought we'd do something a little different today, and it's doing some history about, um, I don't know how people say it, I call it car drug, but car drug was a chain that started in, like, we're about to find out, so here we go. Well, is there one still in business? Well, shoot, there may be a few still in business. I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, it's no, I don't think so. I think they're just picking up something different. Um, headquarters was in North Carolina. Here we go. Car Drug was an American chain of 76 drugstores throughout North Carolina. His headquarters were located in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hey, Kmart Raleigh. Um, on September 10th, 2013, Walgreens announced its purchase of car. <clears throat> the company was founded in Raleigh by Banks Car in 1951. The chain was operating 97 stores when it was acquired in 1995 by J.C. Penney. What? Interesting. All right, let's see. Well, okay. Former type drugstore industry retail fate merged with Walgreens. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I still have allergies. I should have recorded this video later. <laughs> too later. Too late now. Mm. Defunct 2013. Yep, yep, yep. That's the one in Bisco. I filmed that one. That's the year the one in Bisco closed, I think. <clears throat> Let's read some history. Oh, that's it. There's no more. Well, we're about to do some Google reviews. Oh, shoot. Well, we'll just go to Sam for day. N F F. Oh Lord, no. O R T N C. Enter. Now it's gonna take me a second to get there. There's this thing on Google Earth where, where you can, um, where you can actually turn back time and see former businesses. Depot Park, we're going to go here. This is going to be the quickest. Oh, have I ever been on the street before? I have no clue where I'm at, but here's a little history. There obviously was a house here at one time because there's the steps and two houses, actually. Probably could still find stuff in the rubble. I have no clue where I'm going. We've got to find a way to get back to, back to Maine downtown. This is going to take a minute. I'm already at four minutes. Here we go. Here we go. We're back on Main Street. I thought I knew where I was at. Alright, we're heading to the former car drug, which is now Walgreens. Now, Walgreens already had a store here in Sanford. I have no clue why they... Well, since they acquired car drug, they opened in the former car drug store after they already had a 24-hour store, like a mile from this one. 
<coughs> Oops, wrong way. Inside. Oh lord, what have I done now? Oh, here, here we go. Back this way. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I don't know why they, they could have just closed that location and let something else open, didn't it? Because <clears throat> they don't already had a um, location like a mile from it, and we're coming up on it here. All right, here it is street view so as you can see right now it is walgreens okay we're going to hit this little clock in the corner we're going to go to october of 2007 hey that was when i was born 2007 and i think this was when it was already closed because there's absolutely nothing in the parking lot um i have no clue what that oh that's the bank that my dad goes to i think It's kind of blurry. Let me see if I can go to 2009 and it won't do anything. Ah, 2012. No, it was still open. Here it's here. You see the logo? Car drug. And then, you know, Walgreens had a cafe. Car drug also had a car, uh, also had a cafe called Car Cafe. I thought this was so cool. You know, it kind of surprised me because Walgreens has a store literally I'm gonna drive to it there's a sign right there I have a few ads from car drug because I work at the Montgomery Herald and I found them up in some window seals and stuff and my boss was like you can take anything you want and I was like oh I got some free vintage advertisements all right we're gonna go back to time 2018 much clearer picture and there you have it and it used to say right there, like family health care, but they, Walgreens didn't want to keep that. So there it is now. And there is just the regular cafe. It doesn't say car or anything. And the sign is covered by trees. But let's go to that other Walgreens. Basically, driving on Google Earth is basically the same thing as driving, driving in a car, but a lot easier. And you can go fast take y'all it's actually probably not a mile it's like two or three miles but like i mean there's a cvs pharmacy that was always cvs wait where is it oh it's down here i'll show you all something else i think walgreens also acquired rite aid and rite aid acquired eckerd drugs and there is a former Eckerd slash Rite Aid. And that's why Rite Aid always had this pill-shaped sign. Because Eckerd had that pill-shaped sign. And Walgreens, I mean, Rite Aid just put their logo over it. Ooh, we're at eight minutes. I better go. Um, but here, where did it go, Walgreens? Here's Walgreens, and that's why that Rite Aid closed. Because... Rite Aid was trying to compete with Walgreens, and Walgreens bought them out and closed them all because it was literally diagonally across the street. It's right there. Right there. Oh, you know, I didn't think about this, but my good friend, um, he was doing some Google Earth things on, you know, YouTube because, you know, no one could go out to film. So I was like, you know what? That's not a bad idea, so... Um, but here's the regular Walgreens, and I'll go back to 2013. It's always been a Walgreens forever and ever, and there's the old logo right there, and then they changed it to the new Walgreens logo, as you can see. All right, guys, that's about going to do it, and currently it's 8.44. So, if y'all enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And comment down below if you have any questions or anything. Um, ask me some history or, you know, talk trash, talk trash about me. Yeah, you know, whatever. Um, but...
everyone have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.